Hello everyone, welcome to Doc's Custom Corner. Tonight I'm going to start a new segment, one that I've been kind of wanting to start. And it's a question I want to ask everyone. What's in the box? Tonight I'm going to kind of give it away. I'll be opening this up here in a couple minutes to show you what's in the box. But at the end of this video, I'm going to put another box up here. After that, I'm going to ask you what's in that box. And then I want you to all to kind of give clues or give answers as to what you think is in the next box. Now keep in mind, what's in the box isn't always what's on the box. What I mean is each box has something different in it. Sometimes the box will have what's the actual car that you see here, but something else will be done with it other than what you see on the box. So in this case, say the Pinto is in there, is it built as the race car or is it built as something else? But to give you an idea of what's going on here tonight, this box, I'll tell you, there's something different in the box. <laughs> After this, like I say, I'll kind of you know explain here a little bit better, whatever. But tonight, what's in this box is a custom 40 Ford or a 41 Lincoln that I've been working on. It started out as the, I want to say, well, the monogram. 41 Lincoln Continental. Gotta get the box out of the way, I guess. Inside that, what I've done, what I've done to this, is took the Lincoln 41 Lincoln, and I've grafted on two different 44 roof sections. The front half that you see in white is the Ravel 44. The back half is a resin Jimmy Flintstone 44. That was chopped. I forget who the master behind that one was. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the, or on the side window here, this whole upper piece here up to the front is resin. This is a kit piece added back into it after the chop of the, the 40 roof, or the, or the Revell roof, to get the proportions right on it. And I'm probably going to lose the hood, hood here. But. The back half, like I say, is the Ravel or the resin Jimmy Flintstone roof. And all I did was cut the rear, cut the 41 Lincoln body and basically drop the 40 Ford down inside of it. I don't know how well this will pick it up. Right here, you can see just a little bit of a step where the 40 Ford body is actually below the 41 Continental body. I don't know if this will show up better. Maybe. There you can kind of see a little bit better on the side here. It'll have the V12 in it when I build it. Might put finned, uh, finned aluminum, finned flat heads on it. I did that in that custom 44 that I'm building too. The, what I did is took two 41 link, or the 41 Ford Woody flathead V8 finned heads and put, cut them in matched them together make them into a v12 style this will have the wide whites on it so on and so forth but haven't decided on a color yet still tossing that around i don't know if i'm gonna go with a dark blue or kind of a dark kind of a cranberry color don't know yet exactly what i'm gonna go with yet for sure but. but to give you an idea that's what i'm kind of gonna do with the next segment. Yeah, the hood won't stay on right, but just kind of show you and go through and kind of ask what's in the box and then have you all guess what's in the box. See if anybody can come close to what my mind is or what I'm thinking of or what have you. This will just give you an idea what it's gonna look like with white whites on it. Just kind of give you a little visual of it, I guess. Don't know if I'll use the stock 41 Continental wheel covers or what on it, or if I'll go with a different wheel. For all I know, I might even go with a different tire and wheel set up all together. I don't know yet, but give you a little bit of an idea of it. Guess tonight you can kind of see what my desktop looks like. This is the piece of glass that I usually, or I 
use on there to kind of keep things level and true, whatever, when I build stuff. Instead of having my little frame table out all the time. But for those of you that were uh, listening to a couple of the other videos a while ago about Bob Urey, this is the uh, little hot rod that he built years ago and one of his better better builds that he had, had built years ago. They did this in memory of him at Bob at uh, Cedarville Toy Show, which uh, Scott Baldoff puts on every year. Uh, it's coming up, actually, I think the second weekend of March coming up. Uh, Custom Camps is usually the first Saturday of the month, and Cedarville is usually the second Saturday of the month. This is also an old, this is an old, uh, they did this back in 2006. Rod Kness did this. He's a pretty awesome artist and does a lot of work like this. So, But that's one that he did and just a few other things here. This is kind of my little saying. Anyone can restore them. It takes a real man to cut one up. Chop, chop till we drop. Just to have a little fun on stuff. And of course, who can get by without having a rat fink there on their table? <laughs> I've always been an Ed Roth fan. Custom show rods, what have you. But anyway, the uh, box that I'm going to throw up here next is uh, the one that I'm going to bring out next to the table. Um, knowing kind of what I've done with the first one, I'm going to let you guys kind of take a guess and gander at what you think is in that box. Could it be the Ford Ranger? Could it be a Honda Accord? Whatever. I mean, see what everybody comes up with and what your guesses are. Leave your comments down below and... We'll see how close everybody is to see if anybody guesses right or gets close or what have you. But uh, that's my question for tonight is what's in the box? Until next time, y'all take care and we'll see you later. And Give me a like and a subscribe if you want or if you would. I'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the corner. Take care, everyone.